everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Elena Rowell. I am on the Looker slash Google Cloud product marketing team. And we are here today to talk about um, Looker support for Google marketing platforms, specifically our blocks. Um, a little bit of background on me. I am, as I mentioned, on the product marketing team, but I've been with Looker for now about seven years. So I've really seen the product grow and change. Um, and I'm super excited to talk to you about today about this support that we have because I think it's really a next level product from Looker. Also here with me is Liz Rashke and I will let her introduce herself. Thanks, Elena. Hi, everyone. My name is Liz Rashke and I run a team of sales engineers in the US and Canada that cover a Google marketing platform. And a little bit about me, I've been at Google uh, for 10 years on the ad side of the house. So I'm really looking forward to deepening our collaboration with Looker. So for today's session, Liz is first going to give you a little bit of background on the opportunity that we saw for Looker to help Google marketing platform customers. Then I'm going to do a quick overview of each of the blocks that we have. And then the real star of the show is Liz's demo of the blocks and going from the marketplace installation all the way through to the dashboards that end users see. And then we'll wrap up by giving you a sneak peek of what's to come on the roadmap for Looker for Google Marketing Platform. All right, so let's get into the background and opportunity. Today's marketers use many different tools to accomplish their business objectives, which presents three key challenges for them to solve for. Once you solve for those, it helps you go from data to insights to action as quickly as possible. So let's get into the challenges. The first key challenge is that point solutions can limit access to your data. For example, let's say I want to do a log level analysis of my data. Sometimes the point solutions don't allow you to do that, which can limit the more advanced types of analytic activities your team wants to do. The second key challenge near and dear to everybody's heart is that having all of your data in one place is so hard. For example, let's say I want to measure all of my marketing activity. I might need to log into a search tool, a display tool, a social tool, an email tool, just to make one visualization. And finally, activating on an insight can also be hard and it can require you to log into multiple solutions. So for example, let's say I found an insight and now I need to adjust a search campaign and also maybe a display campaign. Now I need to log back into these individual point solutions to go ahead and make the change. So let's look at the unique value that Looker brings to Google marketing platform customers. The product team worked really hard over the summer to help address some of these challenges. First, Looker provides turnkey access to Google marketing platform visualizations all in one place. So whether or not you use campaign manager, display and video, search, or even web analytics, all of your data are available in turnkey blocks. Secondly, Looker also helps you to connect to relevant first-party data sets. So when you do your analysis, these days everyone's bringing in first-party data and Looker makes that even easier. Finally, Looker allows you to send data to Google Marketing Platform right from the Looker interface. It's important to our customers that all of these integrations are bi-directional and the Looker product team is really excited to deliver that. All right, so with that background in mind, I am gonna give you an overview of the blocks themselves. Um, you'll see these all of these blocks in the Looker Marketplace, and if you are interested in downloading them, I highly recommend checking them out, the listing out in the Marketplace, or they're also all listed in Looker's online blocks directory. Um, before, though, I jump in and tell you about the individual blocks, I wanna give you a quick overview of the blocks kind of in general, we were working to develop these as a, you know, more of a suite of a solution. And so there's a lot of things that they have in common um, and really tried to, we tried to really up level uh, the blocks for this to give you really even more power than even the standard block. So as we went to develop the blocks for Google Marketing Platform, there's four key things that we were really trying to hit on. The first is to make sure that we built in insights that people couldn't get in the platform. So leveraging LookML, leveraging all the other value of Looker to make sure that the questions that couldn't be answered there could be answered within these blocks within Looker. The second is that 
data exploration within point solutions is pretty challenging. And so making sure that the explorers that come with these blocks are incredibly tailored and incredibly user-friendly to be able to jump in and dive in more when you have more questions from one of the original dashboards. The third piece is that we actually also partnered with Google Cloud to build in some BQML. So BigQuery machine learning is baked in right into the block. And so out of the box, you'll have some light ML predictions and also just some, some ideas of how maybe BQML can work elsewhere in your company. And the fourth piece is this activation layer. Um, getting data out of, out of platforms can be challenging, oddly enough. So really making sure that it was super smooth for customers to take the insights and the data that they found within Looker and push that back into Google Marketing Platform to use to leverage to better all of their advertising campaigns. So the first block I'm gonna talk about is the Looker block for Google Analytics 360, oftentimes referred to as GA360 colloquially. Um, so what this offers is an incredibly rich look into an incredibly rich data set. Google Analytics really gets the, gets the meat of your website data. And so because of that, having analysis built on that is a really, actually it was a really fun thing for us to do because we had so much potential of all the insights that we could build. Um, but if you wanna to talk to your users and really blow their minds, talk to them about how they create goals within Google Analytics 360 today and how they would potentially like to be able to do that actually after the fact within the Looker block. So the next block is actually a combination of Campaign Manager and Display and Video 360. We've combined those to make it easier for you, the person deploying the block, um, to get people up and running with two data sources all at once. Um, and so what users can do is really dig in into all their campaigns and see how different insertion orders are working and how all the different you know, pieces are coming together for that. Um, but again, to blow their minds, Talk to them about the health of their data and any sort of redaction that they've been seeing and maybe setting an, up an alert to know when data redaction rates are getting too high. All right, so the final block for Google Marketing Platform is the block for Search Ads 360. Um, so Search Ads is a really robust version of you know, Google Search. And so what we've done is we've built analytics around it that really wrap into into the, the depth that is search advertising. Um, so users are gonna have their minds blown by being able to get down to the row level detail of every piece of their search. And part of this is being able to understand what's being successful on a per product basis. So if you advertised for socks and you had keywords going for socks, which socks actually sold? Um, with the Looker block, you can understand this deep insight. Um, so, that is our overview of the blocks, but I'm now going to pass it over to Liz, who is going to dig in deep and give you a demo of just what we've been talking about. All right, it's time to roll up our virtual sleeves and see these blocks in action. In today's demo, we're going to cover three topics. One, how easy it is to get up and running with the Looker for Google Marketing Platform blocks. Two, what it actually looks and feels like to be within one of the blocks. And then third, we're gonna explore a really advanced use case. So let's get started. First, how do you get up and running with the Looker for Google Marketing Platform blocks? So here I'm on the Looker home screen. I go to the marketplace and my three Looker blocks for Google Marketing Platform are right here. And let's say I want to use the Google Analytics 360 block. The last step is to click the purple open button, choose which of my hopefully several Google Analytics accounts I have access to, and then connect them. And that's as easy as that. So the second thing in our demo is what does it actually look and feel like to be within one of the Looker for Google Marketing Platform blocks. So here I'm in the Google Analytics 360 block that I just installed. And what the Looker team has set up for us is a series of different hubs of visualizations. So the overview, the audience, who's on the site, acquisition, how did they arrive, 
behavior? What did they actually do on the website? And finally, conversions. What are those key activities they took on the site? In the acquisition reports, which I'm in the marketing side of the house, so I obviously care about my traffic, I'm seeing the executive scorecard. So I can easily say I had 714,000 users come to my site. My primary marketing channels that acquire me traffic are organic search and social. And I can scroll down to access even more of these um, different visualizations. So here, for example, in this unique visualization, I can easily eyeball that I had a spike in traffic in Q4, which is excellent because it aligns with my holiday season. And it's easy for me to answer my next question, which is which channel is driving the spike in traffic? And this red, you can see these red bars are really driving the traffic, which is social. So either I can stop here and give my social team a high five for doing a great job at driving me holiday traffic, or if I want to explore further and see did this traffic perform really well, I can click on any of the blocks and explore more. And one thing that's awesome about all of these blocks is it sits on top of the unsampled data that automatically connects from Google Analytics into Google BigQuery. And the reason why this matters to our Google Analytics users is because it's always unsampled and it's always data that they can trust. So this explore actually brings us to the third and final part of the demo. And in this case, we're gonna go through an end-to-end -end example of what it would look like to use machine learning on this data and take action on it within Google Marketing Platform. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna use a look explore and the BQML option likelihood to purchase. I need to drag and drop a few fields over. So I'm gonna use client ID, which is individual user and using BQML, their likelihood to purchase or propensity score. And on the right hand side, once this runs, you'll see maybe someone has a 100% chance to convert, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, it goes down from there. Next, I'm gonna use the settings and send, and the Looker team has built us a Looker action to send this data right back into Google Marketing Platform. So I click which account I wanna send this to, fill in a few more options. Uh, so for example, send all results, not just the 500 in the table, and voila, it's back in Google Marketing Platform. From here, I wanna build an audience based on that new data ingested from Looker. So in this case, I'm going to do users whose lifetime value or propensity um, to convert is greater per user than, let's see, you gotta do greater than 0.8. So 80% chance likelihood that they're gonna buy again. And in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see all the endpoints this data can be sent to search, display, video, Salesforce, optimize to personalize the site experience for these high propensity people. And I'm going to name it high LTV propensity from Looker. The last step is I choose which accounts I wanna send this data to and voila. So we hope you saw three key things. One, how easy it is to get up and running with the Looker blocks for Google Marketing Platform. Two, a sneak peek about the look and feel of what it actually looks like to be within a Looker block. And then third, how Looker makes a complex task easy by integrating back into Google Marketing Platform. All right, so quick sneak peek into what's coming next. The first thing that we want to do is we want to expand the action ability. We really want to grow what you can do with that and how we can offer that functionality to customers. You have all this first party data in Looker. Wouldn't it be great if you could, with one click, send it over via customer match to Google Ads so that you could really personalize the digital conversation with your most important customers? Next up on the docket is a update or maybe a new block that will support the new app plus web version of GA360. So wouldn't it be great as your customers move between desktop, mobile web, and mobile app that the Looker blocks can measure all of that activity in one place. And finally, 
Google's ads data hub is going to be a real game changer for customers. And we want to make sure that they can get the most out of that with Looker. So we're going to be looking into how we can support them there. I have yet to meet a customer who prefers SQL over drag and drop environments. So I'm so excited to bring Looker's ease of use to help unlock the full value of your ads data hub data. All right, so that brings us to the end of today's presentation on Looker for Google Marketing Platform. Thank you so much for spending the time with us today. We really appreciate it. If you want to learn more about the blocks, check out the in-product marketplace or the online blocks directory. If you need to learn more about Google Marketing Platform, reach out to your Google rep, or if you reach out to Looker, we can help connect you with them too. Thanks again, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Looker team, for having our Google Marketing Platform counterparts here. It was awesome working with you, and have a great rest of the conference.